Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back for some more Ark Survival Evolved. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic today. We are hanging out. We're over here at the Redwood Forest and we are about to try to find a place to set up our sap farm like I was talking about last episode. So, it's been a little while since I've been over here, man, and I'm kind of curious to some of the changes that they've made, what dinos spawn over here now. I remember really the last time that I was checking out the Redwood Forest, I was having a bunch of computer issues with my old computer, and we kept crashing. Um, I don't know how many dinos and how many times I died <laughs> just coming over here in this area, so it still makes me a little nervous, but I think we're good now. I haven't had any problems with ARC since I bought my new PC. So I'm hoping we should be good today. But what I want to look for is kind of just a nice little spot where we can set up our platform tree. Um, so we got our redwood tree here. I made four platforms, wooden platforms. And then I also made 12 trap, see, tree sap taps. <laughs> oh, I can't, oh, look at my hair. That's a good look, dude. Nicely done. You look like uh, Billy Joel from Green Day, minus the beard. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're just looking for a nice spot where we can set this up. And I didn't do any testing as far as the the sap taps go, but I believe that at each level that there is a platform, we can put down four sap taps. So I'm hoping, you know what? I didn't make enough sap taps. <laughs> we need four more. Um, that's fine. We can make more as we go. What are you, dude? Oh, you're Megatherium. Oh, they spawn over here, too. We saw one of those last episode. Um, I don't know if I showed it or not. I may have cut it out, but I was... I saw him when I was flying back. But, yeah, so we just want to find a nice little spot to set this up. And the, the reason I'm doing this over here is because it's kind of nice to be able to fly around and, you know, find cool stuff. It looks like somebody's set up here. Uh, can we see whose place this is? No, not really. Oh, get a little bit of rubber banding. Uh, but yeah, so it's just kind of nice to be able to fly around and collect things from a different spot. So it just kind of gives us a reason to check out the map and, you know, do different things so we don't just like have to stick to one area of the map, right? So, I'm thinking <clears throat> maybe somewhere around this area, and I wanted to kind of set this up as a community farm. Let's grab this purple drop over here. But, so, basically I just want to set this up so people can come over here and grab sap whenever they need it. Not that it's a huge, you know, it's not a great commodity or nothing like that, but it does come in handy to be able to get a little bit of it when you need it, right? So, I'm thinking maybe, like right here, this would be kind of a nice spot. Maybe we'll do some flying around and just kind of see where everything is and what everything looks like now, so... I definitely think that we need to come over here and build some sort of tree, tree, tree base, tree house base. I think would be really cool and do like a village type thing, uh, kind of like what we're doing now, but maybe like on a smaller scale. Cause there are just some really cool areas over here, like this waterfall is epic. I remember this from way back when, and everything it just it looks. Oh look, somebody's already got one here. Yeah, so you can do four per platform. Yeah, that's a tiny, tiny little platform. Oh, you know what? I think that this tree is actually bigger than a, than the Eco's one. So the platform looks much smaller. But yeah, it would be really cool to build some sort of like little village type thing over here. Maybe more of like a community community base. I think could be neat. Because it doesn't look like there's nearly as many dangerous dinos over here as there used to be. It used to be just like loaded with carnos and terror birds and all kinds of stuff. And I'm not seeing too many of them right now. They got this cool waterfall, man. Ugh! This place looks amazing. I might get a little bit of lag in here. You know what? Maybe we'll set up our uh, our sap farm right here. 
We can put prop it up like in the middle of these three trees. That could be pretty cool. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. So if we bring this down here, can we park you right here? Oh, calico. Oh god. Oh, the tree didn't place. I forgot about calico theoriums. Not calico theoriums. What are those guys called? Uh Thylacos. Hmm, what level is this guy? 140. Can I shoot from the back of you? I can't. Mm. That would be cool to have this guy tamed up over here. We can take him out. I've got the stuff. I just don't have any narcotic on me, and I don't know how fast those guys' torpor drops. Uh, okay, so we got our platform, our tree. So let's try. There's one platform, two platform, three platform, and four. I think that's as many as we can place. So now, let's just go ahead and try to land. I want to see if we can actually place all four of these here. Oh, it looks like we can. Cool. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, we need four more of these sap taps. But once we do that, let's get the rest of these laid out real quick. So there's one, two, three, four. Let's go up one more level. One, two, three, and four. And I think we'll probably put the storage at the very top up here. Oh look, we got beehives too. I forgot about those. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to come back over here at some point. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and put our storage probably... Where does this thing spawn? We'll do it like right here. And so if we drop something in here and then we pull, let's see how much sap we already got. Nothing? <laughs> I guess there may not be any in the, uh, the sap taps yet. So, tell you what, I'm gonna run back to base real quick. I'm gonna make up four more of those sap taps, and then we'll come back over here, and uh, we'll try this out. Alright, so, we made it back. I just laid in the last four taps, and I'm checking to see... It doesn't look like anything has spawned in these. And I know that this works because I watched my buddy Monkey Puzzle do it in one of his videos. This is kind of like the sap farm that he's got set up. And I know it works, but maybe it just takes a little bit more time. Or maybe we have to kind of be within render distance of this whole thing. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of figured it would just be like a passive thing and, you know, over time we would collect sap. But doesn't really look like that's the case and I was looking I, I grabbed some narcotics I was gonna see if that thylo was still around here but I don't see it anymore it must have chased something off there's one over there oh no that's a bear Ooh, 130 dire bear hmm yeah but I don't see that thylo around here anymore I don't know where he went Well, it's a pair, sir. <laughs> I was like, what is in there? It's a little Nessie. Uh, but yeah, so I guess we will just kind of leave this set up. And I'll have to come back over here and check off camera to see if anything gets uh, collected. But as of right now, there's not much happening. And I'm hoping that this works. So I guess we'll just give it a little bit of time and see. But for now, let's head back over to base. We're going to do a little bit of building today. And uh, it should be pretty cool. So can we get up here? It is really foggy. Oh, nope. There's the, uh, there's the shield. I thought maybe we could get up to those platforms, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> it's always funny when you get back over here and everything loads in. All the torches ignite at once. Oh, come on, man. I forgot you were following me. But yeah, it's like... Let there be light. 
Alright, well, I'm hoping we have enough light over here. I think you guys can see well enough. But we are going to start conquering these mountains over here. And see what all we can come up with. So, my idea is to use these guys here to kind of set up some scaffolding that goes up the side of this hill all the way up to the top and then from there we may start bridging out to some different areas I don't know if we'll get that far today or not but that's the idea um, so I'm kind of thinking we might lay down like a platform or a uh, foundation platform down here at the bottom just to kind of flatten things out and get rid of some of this water so we can't see it that might be the first step here but yeah so the idea is we're gonna use these pillars to kinda go up and then we will use uh, the wooden ceilings and then the wooden ramps to kind of zigzag our way up so we'll have like a ramp going up this way and then we'll come across and maybe another ramp going up this way and then back and forth kinda like that or we could go up and then go up and you know you get the idea. So we're going to see if that actually works. I'm going to spend a little bit of time laying down some platforms here just to see if I can even things out. But other than that, I think we should be able to start. So let's go ahead and drop some of this stuff off in here for now just to free up some weight. And let's see how many platforms I have on me ready to go. I don't think I have enough. Uh, do we want to use wood? Maybe we can use wood. Do I have any more? I got six more. Maybe that's enough for now. I can craft more if I need them. So we'll just kind of play this by ear. So give me a second. I'm going to flatten out the bottom of this and we'll be right back. All right. Let's see if we can get this started. So I at least laid down a bunch of these wooden platforms here. Um, I'm thinking we want... Maybe we'll keep the pillars towards the back for right now. So if I do like that... Can we put another one on top? We can. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's pull this out one platform. So. Oh, we can snap to the corner too. That might actually be better. Let's try doing that there. And then we'll follow this over. Do the same thing on this side. Well, that's a rock. <laughs> Uh, we can kind of see the top of it here. So let's figure out how high we want these. So maybe like right there. So we can come out one more. I think that should be all right. So let's come out one like that. And we're going to put the ramps in the back to start off with. So we have a little bit of room to work with down here if we decide to put anything so we'll have the ramp come up here and then probably want the floor to come out one more here and I think we'll probably have platforms like all the way across here so let's pull this guy up here like that we'll do another one there So how high do we go here? Is it three? Looks like it's three up. So if we do, of course. So that'd be one, two, three. Does that look right? <laughs> I don't know if that's right or not. I guess we'll just take this over and see. probably want this one to come out like so yeah I think this is gonna work out so let's jump down take a kind of look at this and see what it looks like so it looks a little weird right now but I think once we kind of get a bunch of it built up it'll look a little bit more natural when we can start adding decorations and stuff stuff to it like plants and um, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of looked like it's been here for a while and it's kind of grown into the side of the mountain. I think is what we're going to go for. We'll see if we can actually pull this one off, but I think it should be cool. <laughs> Alright, it kind of looks like a, a level in Donkey Kong right now, but 
it has potential. I definitely need a lot more of these uh, wooden ceilings. I'm gonna need a ton more, which is fine. I've got all the materials to do it, but I want to bring them all out to the cliffside here, and that's just gonna take a lot of like excess, <laughs> excess roofing, because um, like it's kind of redundant to. I mean, you don't need it here, but just to kind of make it look right. We got to bring it all the way over. So we've got this built all the way up to pretty much the top. Now we just need to start. I need to craft some more ceilings to get up there. But if we work our way all the way up here, I've got this platform we may do something with. Um, it kind of just goes up a little bit more. But if we take the center route and then we come back up this way, we have this platform here, which we'll probably build out a little bit. And then from there, we can get up to that, that spot. <laughs> and then I think up there we'll just lay down a bunch of foundations and kind of do some sort of building or some sort of like spot up there and then uh, from the other side of that we can kind of bridge out and do a couple of different things so I'm gonna spend a little bit more time here I'm gonna go ahead and craft up the rest of the, the wooden ceilings that we're gonna need and then from there we'll come back and see what else we can do <laughs> All right, dude, so it's actually been about a week. Um, I went ahead and I did a little bit of decorating here, trying to make this thing look a little bit more interesting because I think the last time you guys saw it, it was very boring. <laughs> there was just a lot of a lot of just like straight lines and everything like that. So I decided to go ahead and interesting, interesting things up, make things a little bit more interesting. I put in some of the triangle platforms and stuff like that, the triangle ceilings, and I put in some trees that had lights on them, though they do stick out the bottom, which is a little strange, but what can you do? Um, but then we've got some potted plants and things around here. We got all the railings installed, and I think it actually looks really, really nice. And I'm not exactly sure what we can do here, but maybe it could just be, you know, it reminds me of like a, an office building. <laughs> you got just kind of like a bunch of open space and, you know, you can go up and down and this, this, it doesn't really have a whole lot of purpose. But we've got plants, we've got torches, we've got railings. Um, this little area right here comes up and around. I'm not sure what we could do here, but it gives us a nice, a little bit of a nice view of like this area here. Um, once we actually start building over there, I think that'll be pretty cool. But then you come up here. This, I think, took the longest. It was just, it's kind of weird here. <laughs> There's not, not really a whole, whole lot that we can do as far as, like, getting up and down right here. So we could put in ramps, but the problem with using the ramps is they stick out in the bottom, and it doesn't really look all that great. So I just put in a foundation here and kind of built out this way because it's, like, two different angles. It's this way here all the way up from the bottom um, this left and right angle here but as soon as you come up here this mountain kind of turns and is a little bit more diagonal than that and so to keep this straight over here we had to kind of build on this angle and so it just didn't quite line up right there so that's a little unfortunate but not a whole lot we can do but I think up here what we might try to do is set up crops um, because we got a ton of room so it might be kind of cool to do like a greenhouse type thing up here and I'm thinking maybe we could do like a bin uh, not a bin a little pin for like dung beetles and stuff so we can get oil and fertilizer and all that kind of stuff going and then from here we can kind of branch out that way I was playing around oh, I don't have it in my inventory anymore. Uh, yeah sorry I didn't have it in my inventory I wanted to come grab it but this is what it looks like and the problem that I had with these hanging bridges is these supports right here, they go way down under the ground. I think if we go into K mode, you can kind of see they just, they go way deep. And when it's hanging, like if we had a support or something like right where our feet are and then on the other side had another support, it would look fine. But since that cliff and the cliff up there and then like that little pillar thing that I wanted to connect it to is too far away. The things, they just hang straight down and it doesn't look all that great. So like it could work down on the ground, but I think as far as up there, we're just going to have to do something with, you know, normal arc building. But I don't know how many times I've glitched through these things just because they're kind of weird. Like see, right now I'm up on the thing and I wasn't trying to be. So it's really easy to fall off of these things. Um, though you can make them bigger if you want to, you can add more width to them and all that kind of stuff, but I feel like that makes them even more glitchy. 
<laughs> so these will be fun to use down on the ground, but as far as building, you know, from cliff to cliff with these things, it's not really going to work. They do have another, this one here. It's like a straight wooden one, and I have one somewhere. I don't know what I did with it, but it's just like straight across, and that might be usable, but we still have to kind of like bridge it you know bridge the gap a little bit better and uh, I don't know so we'll see what happens when we finally get around to doing that but I did want to show you guys this at nighttime so we do have torches and everything on the inside and I think it looks really really cool so I don't know I was also thinking about putting a ladder let's actually see if we can do that real quick um, do we have the stuff for a ladder this one is rope ladder that's the S plus. So let's make about like 15. We can craft six. Perfect. Um, I thought it'd be cool to have a ladder right here on the center post that goes all the way up, almost all the way up to the top. That way it would save us a little bit of time from having to run through. But I think we may have to build these up from the top. Can we put them? Oh, we can't put them here. Okay, so yeah, if we put that there. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to do it with a bird, but that'll save us a little bit of time going all the way up to the top, which I think will be cool. Uh, so can we put put another one there, another one on top of there, and so slowly we can just kind of add to that, and then uh, it'd be a fast way up and down. <laughs> but yeah, so I think what we can do for today. Let's get some crop plots laid down, and then I think next episode we'll come back in and build the actual greenhouse. So, do I have any... I don't know if I have crop plots learned yet. Crop plots. Uh, do we want... I can't remember if we want the medium ones or if we want the large ones. We'll go ahead and learn them all real quick, but let's see about crafting a couple of these can you get out of my face please text and farming here it is so let's make I don't know let's say six of those we can craft four what are we short on oh you know what it is I think no we should have plenty of stuff what's going on what are we missing fiber probably bet you it's fiber I don't have any more over here do I nope all right so give me a minute I'm gonna craft some stuff up and then we can try laying down some of uh, these crop plots and see what they look like all right so you can just call me a regular plumber man I think we've got this all figured out I did go ahead and install this whole ladder all the way up so that is much much simpler so we can get up and down from up here so we just come back <laughs> that's a huge distance to actually have to travel so it's a uh, kind of nice having that ladder with the instant thing there but check this out so if we come all the way up here I've got a lot of stuff removed so I can lay in the pipes but I think we got it figured out so we got the cross section up here with all the reservoirs right Oop, little bit of rubber banding um, and then from here we have a straight vertical pipe going down and then I started over here I started laying in these cross uh, cross-section pipes with the foundations here so they're just like just on the edge um, but the well I guess they do tend to line up but it's just like I don't know it takes four to do so you see it's like a little bit on the right hand side of this foundation here but then you come on this side it's a little bit on the right hand side or right, it's in inside this foundation on the right side same on this one but then it comes back to this side here so they're just like a tad on this foundation there but we've got it all set up and then I use the dynamic pipe or the flexible pipe to connect this one to this that way we can run them all underground and we don't have to have them up above ground so we see them all the time which is cool so we got that set up let's get these foundations put back in hopefully this will work yeah there, there you go one of those I accidentally destroyed those foundations down below um, let's put these guys back and then let's put this one back here and I think we should be all set 
to do well those are the large ones we want the medium ones I think with these uh I've never I haven't really done a whole lot of crops in this game but I'm pretty sure the taps do like a three by three area so they reach out like if we had it right in the middle of this foundation it would do this one this one and this one but I think if we just do it this way it's gonna be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing uh, but now so we should be able to put a tap on all of these guys here well why don't you have water what's going on where did all my water go <laughs> did these things drain those taps don't drain the water do they Maybe they do. Oh no, all the water filled up into, uh, that's what it is. So it filled up into that one here. So it looks like we only had about 400 water in total, 800 water. Okay, that makes more sense. So once we get more water, those will fill back up. These all turn blue again, cool. Um, so yeah, I think this is what we're gonna go with. And then that should take care of most of our crops. We can come back later if we want to and put in some like additional crops up here. And then we're also going to have, you know, the room to do it down here if we wanted to as well. So that might be something to think about. But I think for now, we are pretty much all set. We're going to wait to get the crops going once we get some dung beetles. So I got to go find some dung beetles. I think there's some in the cave um, just over there on the volcano island or over there. So we can go grab a couple of those, get those guys tamed up, and then... Uh, we should be able to do some crop growing, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a little bit long in the making, so I apologize for that, but we are finally done with today's episode. <laughs> but hopefully you guys liked it. I had a lot of fun doing this whole cliffside building. This is probably one of my favorite things in this game, or a favorite kind of building in this game. Can we reach? We can't reach that. I use that to install the rest of the ladders. But anyways, hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Okay.